Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these two radical problems and we are going to find the value. The first one is uh, square root of 3 plus 3 whole power 3 plus uh, square root of 3 minus 3 whole power 3. Whereas this second question has a negative sign in between. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And now we are going to do this question one first. And in order to make our job easier, let me go ahead and make a substitution. Let me go ahead and call this part inside this parentheses as an A. And this part in this parentheses, I am going to call lowercase b. So therefore, our a equals to square root of 3 plus 3, whereas our b is square root of 3 minus 3. Then our task is going to be find the value of a power 3 plus b power 3. That's what we're going to do. And now let's recall our this famous identity a cube plus b cube. And now since we wanted to find the value of this a cube plus b cube, so in other words, we are going to find the value of this a plus b. And finally, we are going to find the value of b square as well. Let me call this identity as our equation number one. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and find the value of this uh, a plus uh, b now. And we know a equals to square root of 3 plus 3, whereas b is uh, square root of 3 minus 3. Now let's go ahead and add these two equations. If we add them on the left hand side, that is going to give us uh, a plus b equals to on the right hand side this positive 3 and negative 3 they are gone so we ended up with only 2 times square root of 3 so therefore we have this uh, a plus b equal to 2 times square root of 3 and now in this next step let's go ahead and calculate the value of this uh, a square and we know our a equals to square root of 3 plus 3 now let's recall this identity a plus b whole square we are going to apply over here therefore in our case a square is going to become the square of the square root of 3 whole square plus 2 times square root of 3 times 3 plus square of this 3. If we simplify this thing, that is going to give us 12 plus 6 times square root of 3. So therefore, our this a square turns out to be 12 plus 6 times square root of 3. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the value of this b square. And we know our b value is square root of 3 minus 3. And now let's recall this identity a minus b whole square we are going to apply over here. So let's go ahead and take the square on this side and square over here. So our b square is going to be if we apply this formula on this right hand side that is going to give us a square root of 3 whole square minus 2 times square root of 3 times 3 and finally plus square of this 3. If we combine the like terms that's going to give us 12 minus 6 times square root of 3. So therefore our b square value turns out to be 12 minus 6 times square root of 3. And now finally we are going to find the value of this uh, a b and here are our a and b values. So let's go ahead and multiply them out. I'm going to put down a times b equals to square root of 3 plus uh, 3 times uh, square root of 3 minus 3. Now let's recall this identity a plus b times a minus b. We are going to apply on the right hand side. So our right hand side could be written as a square root of 3 whole square minus the square of this 3. So that is going to give us simply negative 6. 
So therefore our this value a times b turns out to be negative 6. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and find out the value of a cube plus b cube by plugging in this a plus b value that we already figured out over here. Likewise a square, a b and b square in this equation 1. So our a cube plus b cube value is going to be, we are going to replace this a plus b by this 2 times square root of 3. So let me go ahead and write down 2 times square root of 3 and inside this bracket a square in our case is 12 plus 6 times square root of 3 minus our a b value is negative 6 and then plus our b square value is 12 minus 6 times square root of 3 and in this next step when we multiply negative times negative 6 turns out to be positive 6 here we can see that they cancel each other out and here if we combine these like terms we are going to get 30 over here so if we multiply the whole thing our answer a cube plus b cube turns out to be 60 times square root of 3 so thus our simplified answer to this question number one turns out to be 60 times square root of 3. And now let's take care of this question number 2. And once again I am going to call this part as our A and this part as our B as you can see over here as a substitution. And then we are going to find the value of A cube minus B cube. And now let's recall this identity A cube minus B cube. And as we can see we already figured out our a square value, a times b value and b square value as you can see over here in our previous step. And now let's go ahead and calculate the value of this a minus b. And here are our a and b values. So let's go ahead and subtract these equation. I'm going to put a minus over here, minus and a plus. So that is going to give us a minus b equals to this uh, positive and negative this is gone so 3 plus 3 is going to give us uh, 6 so therefore our a minus b value turns out to be 6 and now here's our final step let's go ahead and find the value of a cube minus b cube by just plugging in these values over here Therefore, our a cube minus b cube value is going to be a minus b in our case is 6 and then times a square our value is 12 plus 6 times square root of 3 plus a b value in our case is negative 6 plus b square value is 12 minus 6 times square root of 3. Here in this next step a positive time negative 6 is going to give us negative 6. Now we can see this negative and positive they are gone. So our a cube minus b cube value turns out to be 108. So thus our answer to this question number 2 turns out to be 108. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.